there we go. Got Bigger him. one. Got him. Got him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. It is Weston Smith coming at you from Dallas, Fort Worth. Also going to be joined by Fishing with Tate, who just recently moved to Texas. I believe he's going to be throwing the new Zucci bug from 10,000 Fish. Go ahead and try and catch him. All right, so I'm going to showcase a little bit of everything here for you all today, and then you can go ahead and decide what's right for you and your ponds, lakes, etc. from there. So, first thing is going to be some bobber stops or weight pegs. A lot of times when we're throwing some thicker, heavier weights, you're going to want to toss on two of these guys. I know when you're fishing thick cover with something like a quarter ounce Texas rig, one's going to be fine. Well, we're beefing it up today. We're going to throw two bobber stops on our braid to start. The next step is going to be the weight itself. And so for today, we're actually throwing something a little bit different, but what I'm going to showcase is some one ounce tungsten weights right here. So tungsten is just a little bit more dense, so it's not going to be as fat of a weight like if you were going with lead. So I prefer tungsten for that reason. We also have something like a two ounce for some of the thickest stuff. Like if you're really throwing through some thick grass mats out in like California, you might need to go up to something like this in extremely rare cases. But ideally, you want the lightest weight to get through the stuff that you're punching through. So we've got some one ounces here, but I'm going to do something even a little bit different Today, and I'm breaking out a punch rig from Carl's Bait and Tackle. I've got a couple different colors here. They're both one ounce and I think today what I'm gonna do is go with that uh, darker one. So this black and blue right here. So this is gonna be what I toss on right after those bobber stops or weight pegs. Slide that up and then I'm gonna go ahead and tie a snell knot to our flipping hook and I'll show you that process next. The reason you might want to go with a punch rig though over just throwing the weight is simply the skirt. Almost like a, a jig presentation. You're just bulking it up a little bit and giving it that much more action. So after you've got your weight pegs as well as your weight or punch rig you're gonna go ahead and tie your hook and I recommend the snell knot for this application. We'll tell you why in just a moment but let's go ahead and rig it up. I'm gonna include a video in the description on how to tie that snell knot but there is a reason for it. So when you're using these heavy punching weights you'll see when you go to set that hook all of a sudden that snell knot helps push that hook up and increase your hook up ratio. Pretty fantastic. Now I've got those bobber stops up here I'm just gonna drop those bad boys down. Remember two of them is gonna help that weight stay in place and now we are locked and loaded as soon as I toss this crack and craw on here. But I rig these up a little bit differently than my Texas rigs. And what I mean by that, I just cut through the nose just like on that Texas rig. But it's that last step that's a little bit different. Usually on a Texas rig, I penetrate all the way through the plastic and then I just kind of expose the tip of the hook. On these rigs, what I do is I just kind of push the hook from the back and I have it sit up in the plastic, but it never makes it all the way through. And so now you're just gonna have a strong hook set to penetrate the lip, but you're really gonna have a tough time getting snagged or caught up on anything. So it allows you to work through the thick cover that much better. Let's go ahead and start fishing. All right, y'all, introducing Fishing with Tate out here in Texas What's up? now. What's up? Yeah. Man just moved from Kentucky. He's gonna be doing some work with the Googans, having some fun with us down south, and hopefully on some big fish today. So yeah, that feels good. Good depth right there under the grass. I like that. So this one ounce weight is doing a pretty good job of getting through this stuff. Uh, where it's just kind of like the leaves. If it's got some real thick grass, kind of cheesed up, it's not cutting through as well. And almost like you'd have to go one and a half ounce out here. So it's getting through, it's getting through the lion's share. That's all we need. Just trying to see where one might be hiding in the shade here. And look, I know I have this punch rig set up, but I might end up catching them on the grass edge and just kind of what you'd call flipping. It's punching if you're cutting through the stuff, right? But if I determine I can get a bite on the grass edge, I'm just gonna almost fish this thing like a Texas rig, which is one great thing about it. It's a little bit universal. Sure, a nice quarter ounce weight would be better for a slower fall and a nice flutter on the way down, but this one ounce will still get the job done. So I need to just make a move and hit more untapped water. I'm trying to punch through. Oh, oh wow, I had a bite. So that was about a foot from the edge right there. Could have easily been a bluegill, but that was a nice little nip. You gotta set the hook quick on these things because when they feel a heavy weight, usually they drop it really fast. I learned that quick fishing California. If you even think you feel a hit, you go for that hook set. Hook sets are free, right? And you can't afford to miss one. Stop. All right. First one there right along the edge. Oh all right buddy i was hoping you'd be a little bigger but um uh thank you bud that's um not the ideal punch fish but i reckon we're gonna get some more here in just a moment a little bit of grass oh we are so set push those pegs down back in the saddle let's rock want to try another one down the street very froggy but i got a feeling this thing could work right here let's try and punch on through it oh good depth too this could be this could be real good
Got him. Got him. Nice one. Yes. Right off the drain. I knew there would be one right there. Come on. Solid pound and three quarters, I'd say. He's approaching two, and he was just hanging out right here where that water's flowing in. Textbook catch right there. That's what we're talking about. That's a fat bass, too, for the size here. Yes. We're going to have to re-rig that. <laughs> All right, flowing water. That's how you got to do it right there. Decent depth, too. Heck, yeah. All right, we're set up, and I would not be surprised if there's another fish in this area, even though we caught that one. Cast one right over here right quick. See if I can draw a little something in. Got him. There we go, Tate. You. Second one in the same area. They like that free flowing water. I'm telling you, that current has got them going right now. That was sick. Casted right over there and landed on top of whatever that stuff is. Cut right through it. Boom. Got those bites pretty quick, man. That's what we're talking about. Come on with it. Oh, there we go. Bigger one. Bigger one. Come on. Let's go. Another one right under that thick muck. Man, this is what they're loving is this area right here. I would not be surprised if there's another 5 to 10 fish right here that we can get on with that crawl. They're spanking it. See ya, bud. There we go. Got another. That's four. Choked and top of the mouth hook set. That's just can't go wrong. Got to carry pliers, y'all. You never know when you're going to get a fish that really chokes the bait like this. Want to make sure you get them back in the water quick. Feeling good. Let's go. Well, might be time to walk it down a little. Ah, missed him. Got him. There we go. Right on the edge. Thank you, sir. Always fun setting the hook when you're flipping like that. I will tell you what, never know what you got until the last second because they're always in that thick stuff. I can drop it right there. That could be good. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let me try and back you up. Let me try and back you up. Oh my gosh. Double up? There might, maybe, dude. Wow, that was textbook. That was perfect. You called it play by play. <laughs> That was awesome. <laughs> there had Still to be fun. one there though. Flowing water yeah. right there. A little, mm, perfect. Zucci yeah, bug yeah. coming in clutch and y'all check it out. So he's throwing a different color. So they got this color that's almost like a blue baby. Look at that sucker. It's real natural, but a little flash on the underbelly. Yeah. Zucci bug crushing it for him today, y'all. Like what I'm throwing is not necessarily what people throw on clear water and it's just somehow getting it done. But <laughs> usually clear water, you go with the naturals. There could be one right there. Y'all go ahead. All right, well, I'll let you guys go and I'll see you again soon, I'm sure. John, nice to meet you, sir.